happens when we create a huge stack of mammoths? Could they reach the moon? Could they survive a black hole? What if we made them huge? Here, let me show you. This is by far the silliest, stupidest power you could ever do in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. I mean, I've been playing this game for a long time, and I don't think I've ever answered these questions. Because watch, you come over here, you activate the power here. Let me show you how to do it first. Hit the escape key, go into your settings, go to your DLC bugs, and turn on Pillar Mammoth. And this is what happens when you make a Pillar of Mammoths. Wow. <laughs> Look, I just made a tiny tower. There was like, what, 20 units there? And each of the Mammoths are wonderfully stable. Well, okay, maybe not wonderfully. I mean, some of them are on their sides and look pretty comfortable. Other ones look like they're struggling beneath the weights of everything. And only one is living his best life at the top of the tower. And here's what happens when you summon two of these. I got 16 on the right side. I will add 15 on the left side. And now we've got two towers opposing each other. Each of them willing to fight the other to the death. So we're going to take the towers and shove them up into the sky as high as we can. See if we can reach the moon. I'm going to shove in a black hole and shove a tower into a black hole. That's going to be amazing. And then we're going to go into the unit creator, make a humongous mammoth, and see if we can make a tower out of those. But uh, first things first, what happens when these towers actually fight each other? They fall. They collapse to the ground and then they lunge at each other from the sky. <laughs> Did you see that? It's like they were gravitationally attracted to each other and, and now they're trying to fight each other. What happens if I make the towers bigger? Let's just delete these towers, okay? And, and I mean, 15, it's a lot, but that's rookie numbers. As uh, Gray still plays is often known to say. How about we do some big numbers? Like, I don't know, how about 100 per side? 100 right there. And then over on this side, probably going to break my computer, 100 over here. This is what 100 mammoths versus 100 mammoths looks like. Oh, okay, okay. Why are they different heights? Oh, look, 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 they're still like adjusting in their heights. Like the mammoths are like, hey, hey, get up, get up there. Again, if I had to be one of the mammoths, I would love to be the top one and not the bottom one. What happens when they fight? Let's do this, I'm gonna zoom out. Okay, stop, I wanna pause. Oh, the cameraman just got sent for a journey. Look at the Tower of Mammoths. When I pause time, unpause time, and now they all come <laughs> down and they're lunging at each other in the sky, doing their mammoth charge, trying to kill each other as they make a big brown poo shaped pile of mammoth flesh. How many of them are still alive? How much damage have they taken? Yep, and that is the last of the mammoths. And now every mammoth has pretty much filled the battlefield flooded it completely. Imagine doing this on a small map and they all just get go fall off. It'd be, it'd be great. So that's 100 versus 100. Now we need to discover, can I escape the atmosphere? Can I get to the moon? I don't know. <laughs> Deleted all the mammoths. Now we shall come to the red side. I will summon, first I will summon Larry over here on blue side. You can go right there on that rock. Can you stay right there, Larry? This is gonna be so bad. Now I'm gonna summon a tower as high into the sky as I humanly can go. Ready, set, go. Deja vu, I just been in this place before. Well, we're approaching 200 mammoths and we're getting about five frames a second. I'm gonna try and start the fight. I'm gonna pause time and we're gonna look up and see how high the mammoth tower has got. Trying to pause time. Oh, the mammoths are exploding away from each other. I just wanted to see the tower. Oh my God. We didn't even get that high. Well, it seems high, but it's not. How high can I go? How high can the cameraman go before everything fails? Can I even reach the top of the mammoth? Tower. No, no, the cameraman has reached the vertical ceiling of the game. Look how high in the sky we are. Dude. But it's not good enough. It's not, it's not nearly high enough. And it could be because the mammoths are too small. Makes a lot of sense to me. If they were bigger, they would go much higher. And now I have become mammoth as we all go. <laughs> it's, oh no, no, the mammoths killed Larry. No! I wanted to watch the mammoths plummet to the ground in real time, but they managed to, like, squash Larry. <laughs> okay, you know what now? I, I want to try the black hole thing. I really want to try the black hole thing. This should be hilarious. I like how I have to delete mammoths from time to time, or else it takes too long to spawn them all. <laughs> so instead of Larry, we're going to grab... Oh, oh, turn on our halflings into black holes. How many black holes should we put? I mean, we know a mammoth will die in a black hole. That's not a question, right? So ultimately, it doesn't matter how many we put, but I want to make sure that we have enough to survive. 
and, and, and do the black hole thing, because if they die, they don't turn into black holes. It's really weird. Then I'm going to grab Larry, put Larry over here out of the way. He's perfectly safe. We'll grab on him, which reminds me, turn on God powers. I'm going to need the hand of God to save Larry. Mim is into the sky right here, and they are going to get sucked into the black hole. It's going to be fantastic. I'm thinking 200 mammoths, and then you give them time to do that thing where they kind of like spread out and go higher. Right, we'll do 200 mammoths because we're already getting down to about 10 FPS. Pretty bad. 200 mammoths. Okay, give them time to like sort themselves out and to shove each other further up. You can see the mammoths like jockeying for position as they like slowly. The top looks great. The top five look fantastic. But as you can see, I hold still. You can see the mammoths like push each other up higher and higher. Okay, I think we've done a pretty good job. We've waited quite a while, allowing the mammoths to spread out, to stretch out, and to be as far away from the black holes as humanly possible. And then we're going to start the fight, go grab Larry, and observe the black hole spawn, grow, and absorb all of these. <laughs> all of these mammoths. Yeah, that's just disgusting. That's just insane. Let's zoom out. Let's go zoom over to Larry. What's up, Larry? You're looking really good today. <laughs> and there's the mammoth tower from Larry's perspective. Oh my god, look how high in the sky that goes. Let's start the fight. Three, two, one, go. I'm gonna pause. No, no, no. Camera's going for a journey. Camera went for a trip. And now the mammoths begin to fall. We're gonna grab Larry with a hand of God. And then we're going to go observe the mammoths fall into the black hole. Larry, got you by the the head. There's the mammoths, there's the halflings. The halflings have turned into black holes, and now the mammoths are slowly, I'm gonna do slow-mo for a second, just watch, slowly falling. And some of them have already been absorbed towards the black holes, and, and all the mammoths are shifting this way. See, they're shifting away from the black holes, almost like they know what's about to happen. And now there's just this massive pile of mammoths. Let me just slow down time. Yep, look, look, there's still so many falling. <laughs> oh, the mammoths are beginning to be sucked into the five or six black holes that we've created. You can see the mammoths splitting like the Red Sea. Some of them going towards the black holes, some of them trying to run away, some of them survive to fall a thousand feet, but that's okay. Uh oh, all the mammoths. None of the mammoths are going to make it. They're being absorbed into the black hole. Look at them go. <laughs> you see more mammoth than black hole. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. <laughs> what happens? The black hole should eventually grow large enough to like envelop all the mammoths, right? right? We've seen the black hole get pretty big. Yeah. There's one mammoth on the right hand side there who has not yet got into the black hole pile. And there's the black hole beginning to grow past the mammoth. Larry is having a great time. And now the mammoths are almost completely enveloped by the five black holes that are lagging my game like crazy, guys. And the final mammoth is going in. The final mammoth is going in. He's not going to make it. And now you can no longer see the mammoths around the black hole. The final mammoth has been absorbed and we have blue victory. That is what happens when you take a mammoth tower of 200 mammoths and it falls into a black hole. Now we need to make the mammoths bigger. Now, if memory serves me, guys, you did build for me a, a gigantic mammoth right so if i go and if i go search crow and we go to the units and we're now looking by newest oldest and i'll have another video of your units eventually guys very soon i'm gonna look there was hold on hold on was that was that a unit in a volkswagen oh he's going to a video he's gonna be a great video where was the mammoth there was a massive there manny the gigantus can manny the gigantus be towered like a standard mammoth does the bug affect modded workshop units I, I don't know so that means if i go to my factions we go to the other faction or was it your units faction where's my your units faction and there's where i put manny gigantus there he is crow manny the gigantus will he stack i don't know i hope so i hope he stacks three two one go no he doesn't stack oh it doesn't work that's so disappointing. In that case, I have a horrible, amazing, horrible idea. We're going to take our lovely gigantus Manny the Mammoth, and we're going to put Manny right there in the middle. Manny, you look fantastic. Um, then I'm going to grab the regular mammoths, and I'm just going to make mammoth towers all around the giant Manny. What am I doing? Oh no, it's getting stuck on his tusks. <laughs> it's fantastic. 
Oh, this is probably a mistake. Can like 10 or 12 stacks of, 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 of mammoths, towers, defeat one gigantic manny? I don't know. We're about to find out. I put another stack right there. There we go. We're at like 350 mammoths. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final fight of <laughs> What have I done? This has gone too far. Guys, I need you guys, everyone, 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 comment down below. Comment down below. Who wins? Gigantus or the mammoths? The, the stacks of mammoths, the mammoth towers. My money's on the mammoth towers. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! Start the fight. Gigantic Manny is angry looking, and now all of the mammoths are falling out of their towers down to the gigantic Manny. Who's thrashing amongst them all. Let me pause and get in there. One, Gigantus Manny has this uh, stomach issue where he likes to twist and contort. And it's not a good time. And look at all the mammoths just falling all around him. Can the big Manny defeat like 350 mammoths? I gotta pause it just to like zoom out and appreciate what's happening here. You <laughs> see the mammoths falling off of his butt? That's so good. Let's resume the fight, shall we? Uh-oh, Gigantus Manny. Manny, where are you going? Gigantic Manny? This is insane. The question is, do all the mammoths have enough damage to defeat this giant Manny? Does giant Manny have a prohibitive amount of HP? Can the giant Manny even deal damage to the mammoths? My god, this is the stupidest thing I've ever done in Totally Hunger Battle Simulator. <laughs> Guys, this fight is never gonna end. Hopefully you enjoyed this amazing video. If you did, click the links on the screen and check out more awesome videos. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.